Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the output from one phantom and use it as the input source for another phantom. We call this chaining phantoms together. All right, let's get started. All right, so for this example, I've already run a LinkedIn search export phantom where I scraped 923 LinkedIn profiles. So if I wanted to use this for something like the LinkedIn profile scraper, I can easily do that. I'll just go and click on use this phantom. I'll go ahead and connect to LinkedIn and click save. And so now when I tell the LinkedIn profile scraper, which URLs I want to use, I'm going to go ahead and choose my phantoms. And in the drop down section, I'm going to choose my LinkedIn search export phantom and the result.csv file that's associated with it. So I'll go ahead and choose that in the drop down. Now, in the spreadsheet settings, you'll see that the name of the column containing profile URLs is profile URL. And when I double check the result.csv file from my LinkedIn search export phantom, I'll see that the profile URL is the column heading for the first column. And that's the column that contains all of my LinkedIn profile URLs. So now I'll go back to the LinkedIn profile scraper phantom. All I need to do is click on save and I've successfully chained two phantoms together. All right, so that was how we take the output from one phantom and use it as the input for another phantom. To get started chaining phantoms together, be sure to go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.